Larry's going to take you through a real travelogue of what design has been at HOK since our very founding days. It begins with George Helmuth and Guy Obata and George Kassebaum. They formed an architectural practice in 1955. Our founders came from very different backgrounds and places. But diverse as their interests were, they shared a passion for architecture and for creating outstanding places where people live, work, and play. They shared a vision for creating a diverse design practice that would deliver creativity, innovation, and value to clients, occupiers, and communities. Our practice defines design as the art and science of creating optimal, sustainable, and beautiful environments for people. From our earliest days, we've pioneered collaborative processes to share knowledge and to work with clients to discover new ways to solve the challenges of our built environment. Our designs are inspired by the hopes and dreams of our clients, who we think are the best in the world. Our designs shape communities in which we live, offices, research facilities, airports and ferry terminals, retail centers and hotels, apartments, places of worship, hospitals, museums, civic centers, sports venues, and parks. Each of these individual building blocks form communities. They improve our cities and enhance people's lives. The first 20 years of HOK projects symbolize Guillaume's design philosophy, creating functional yet expressive buildings that answer the needs of people. The whole reason that HOK was started with Helmuth and Caswell and myself was to really do good design. St. Louis Abbey at Priory celebrates pure structure and light. Design themes of innovative structure, space and light were reinterpreted in a whole series of important cultural and civic buildings that fulfilled their functional requirements while creating memorable public space. Stanley Marcus, for whom HOK designed the Neiman Marcus store in Gerald Hines' revolutionary Houston Galleria, another HOK project, told us he wanted a new kind of airport designed for the convenience of the traveler with easy access like a shopping center. Dallas-Fort Worth Airport was America's largest airport, heralded for its convenience and its crisp, clean detailing that emphasized precast concrete could be both structure and a finished material. Bristol-Myers Squibb's headquarters and research campus exemplifies HOK's total design approach, from master planning to delivering buildings that emphasized innovation through collaboration and humanized lab spaces with views to the gentle landscape of New Jersey. In 1976, HOK was nationally recognized as a design practice with offices in San Francisco, St. Louis, Dallas, Washington, and New York. Diversity remained the key word for HOK, with large and small projects designed and detailed in accordance with their unique settings and clients. The Mall in Washington, D.C. provided the perfect setting for the National Air and Space Museum. The incredibly simple, monumental limestone volumes linked by Atria offer a heroic scale well-suited to the story of America's pioneering role in flight and space exploration. Years later, HOK would be asked to design an even larger aviation museum for the Smithsonian near Dulles Airport. And many clients regularly returned to HOK. Gerald Hines, pleased with the success of the Houston Galleria, asked HOK to design the even larger Dallas Galleria in 1982. And the relationship continues today with dozens of projects over 45 years. HOK's entrance into the world of sports began in these years, starting with the facility for the 1980 Winter Olympics in Lake Placid, New York, most famous today for its Miracle on Ice hockey game in which the young Americans defeated their seasoned Russian opponents. New ventures like sport, however, did not distract HOK from its mission to design great buildings for people. That commitment remained as strong as ever, as Bill Valentine describes. We're extremely good listeners. And clients, you know, here they are. They are going through hell to get projects generally. They're paying a hell of a lot of money. They have a lot of need. They deserve to get what they need and what they want. And HOK 
better than anybody I know of can really listen, 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 understand what's, what's actually going to help you. So when you ask the right questions about what can be helpful to our clients, they'll tell you almost universally. And then it's a total roadmap. And then most architects say, fine, I'm going to go do what I want. But HOK in the overwhelming main does not. We go try to honestly help our clients. Seems so simple. Bill established HOK's design credentials in San Francisco with award-winning projects based on his design philosophy of voluntary simplicity. The power of less, as he called it, values sustainability and a sharp focus on client needs, resulting in projects of dignified utility. The vast, column-free Moscone Convention Center exemplifies a building finely tuned to its purpose, but adding, as a bonus, a new public park for the city. It reflects Bill's modesty that he tucked the vast hall underground. Similar urban instincts inform Levi's Plaza, the San Francisco headquarters of Levi Strauss. The buildings nestle into the hillside and enclose a delightful public park and fountain without intruding on the cityscape, an unassuming project, but recognized by Time magazine as its building of the year. British Petroleum's headquarters in London also had deferential intentions, but an equally big impact as HOK created elegant, refined interior designs inspired by the building's original Edwardian architect legend, Sir Edwin Lutyens. King Khalid Airport and King Saud University built a design reputation in the Middle East that remains strong today. The Sheraton Hotel in Tamika, West Papua, is an outstanding example of sustainable development in remote places, beautifully designed so that the building materials were all locally sourced. By the mid-1990s, HOK has become a global design practice with two dozen offices, designing interiors, buildings, communities, and even cities in over 40 countries. This is a privilege and a responsibility that we accept and recognize. Environmental stewardship, sustainability, technical advancement, and practical innovation continue to be the hallmarks of HOK's work as we provide the scenery and settings for people's lives. Our specialist expertise and geographic reach extend to five continents and every building type. Our government work extends far beyond the cartoon image of a sea of bureaucratic cubicles. The American Embassy in Moscow, the Georgia State Archives Building, or the Alfred Arage Courthouse in Denver, the Kilbert Park Visitors Center in Ontario, and the British Foreign and Commonwealth Office demonstrate the design vitality that we bring to these projects. We give strength, character, and enduring importance to these civic functions because we understand their significance in our communities. Likewise, our museums and religious projects reflect their purpose, but elevate it to a symbolic, even iconic level. HOK uses design to celebrate the importance of these cornerstones of our society. Our hospitals are at the leading edge of patient care and technical advances, but they're also large, complex structures that enhance their surroundings and welcome their patients. Sometimes we get the chance to combine our expertise, to design complexes with many functions. These opportunities help us create dynamic places that are catalysts to activity. The synergy creates lively places for people. Our Dubai Marina continues to be one of Dubai's most popular and successful developments. Forest Park here in St. Louis is restored as one of the world's most beautiful urban parks. The Baku flame towers have become an instant symbol of Azerbaijan. Hospitality projects have the same power to create their own worlds. Thorough, dynamic, and consistent detailing creates destinations where guests enjoy luxury and relaxation in exceptional settings. Our projects demonstrate that contemporary justice facilities can make distinguished architectural and urban design contributions to our communities. Our total approach to design, where planning, programming, architecture, interiors, and landscape architecture are fully integrated to deliver and delivered by one design team, have created a truly extraordinary design in the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. HOK designed an entire city in the desert 
with a world-class research university at its heart. HOK continues to express new expressions for airports and all forms of transit. From Asia to America, Europe to the Middle East, you're likely to travel through an HOK airport, and we hope your journey is made a bit less tedious and a little more convenient, maybe even enjoyable. After 60 years, timeless architectural values of function, structure, light, and beauty supporting human needs remain our guiding principles. The story of HOK now continues with our president, Bill Helmuth, who will give you his preview of the next 60 years. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. One of the things that strikes me about the presentation, the early portion of that work was first done by Gio, largely, and then by Gio and Bill Valentine. The second portion was done by 10 or 11 or 12 design principals in their studios, sort of really mirroring the expansion of HOK. And what HOK is all about today, and as we move in the future, is a whole series of designers, design expressions, different from each other, making our cities and our places much better places to be. We're all standing on the shoulders of Gio and Bill, who we all, all owe uh, a great debt of gratitude. This is a building for Porsche, an iconic building for one of the world's most iconic cars. And anytime you fly into Atlanta, this is right uh, at the end of the runway, and you can see their test track as you come in. What a way to celebrate our return into the world of sports architecture. And this idea of doing the most important work in our cities is really critical to us. 360 brings to us uh, a whole wealth of designers, a wonderful design studio, sort of bring fresh perspectives uh, to the idea of sports architecture. A lot of our work starts as planning. We did master planning for Dubai Expo, and this is now turning into a real project. Similarly, this ecotourism resort started out as a master plan, becomes uh, a real project. The interdisciplinary idea of HOK, which Gio envisioned in those early years of how one uh, discipline could feed into another discipline uh, and we could create entire places, cities, be they large as, as a university or small as an orphanage in Haiti. The, the best of what we do in a lot of our projects is that we occupy the intersection between thought leadership and design excellence. And you see that in our science and technology work and in our healthcare work. This is a wonderful research institute in Sicily, really sort of showing our reach uh, across the world. Also at the Francis Crick, they're discovering cures to diseases that we don't even have names of yet. It's a, it's a really absolutely remarkable facility uh, in London. One of the things that I loved are really creating the buildings which define the skylines of capital, capital cities. This is the CM, CMA Tower in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And I love this image. This is the Adnok Tower in Abu Dhabi under construction. And of course, in China, where everything is getting bigger and bigger, uh, this is the Dalian Project. So I want to thank you all very much.